Let's work on a slightly more complicated example. We want to calculate the present value of this cash flow, which are going to be annual end of the period values for payments occurred in the following timeline. Considering the interest rate of 10% compounded per period. So if you notice here, we are going to have three payments of $1,000 at the end of year one, year two, and year three. And three $2,000 payments at the end of year four, five, six, and three $3,000 payments at the end of year seven, eight, and nine. As you can see here, these are not all equal. So we cannot use the factor P over A directly here. So we need some modification. First, we need to calculate the first equal series of payments, first three equal series of payments, and then the second, sec the second equal series of payments, and the third, uh, we calculate the third uh, $3,000. For the first one, we use the, the factor P over A, interest rate is 10%, and we are going to have uh, three of them. It is starts from year one and, and uh, finishes at the end of year three, and there are three payments. Now the second three payments. The second three payments of $2,000, which are going to happen at the end of year four, five, and six, so as you can see here, if we use the factor P over A, 10% interest rate and three payments, this factor is going to give us, is going to return the present value of these three payments in one year before the first one, which is going to be here, year three. But we need it at the present time, which is year zero. So we need to discount the result for three more years to be able to get the present value at year zero. So that's why we multiply the result of this by a discounting factor by the present value for three years. So we multiply it by P over F, 10% and three years. Now let's calculate the last three payments. As you can see here, the first one is at the end of the year seven. So similarly, if we want to, to use the factor P over A, 10% and three payments, it, this, going to, this is going to give us the present value of these three payments at the end of year six, but we want it here at year zero. So we need to discount this value for six more years. So that's why we, we multiply this with factor P over F uh, with 10% and six period of discounting, six years of discounting. There's also another way to calculate the present value of these payments. You can calculate the present value of each payment individually using the factor P over F and then add them all together. You might find this uh, method be easier, more convenient, but it, it needs more work and calculation. So it's similar than what we had before. You can calculate the present value of the first payment, second payment, ten, third payment, and so on. For the first three payments, the, the, the present value equals uh, $1,000 multiplied by the factor P over F, 10% and one year, because this is one year away from present time. The second one is two years away from the present time. The third one is three years away from present time. And the, the second three payments, you can calculate the present value with $2,000 multiplied by P, over F factor 10% and four, N equals four, because this is at, it is happening at the, at the year four. This is four years away from present time and so on. 